man, codependency fucking sucks. It really does. It sucks pretty much just as much as enmeshment does. Um, isn't it wild how, like, I mean, I don't know if this is for everybody. I've experienced this in my own life. I take full responsibility and am also, like, working to change my approach, obviously. Um, but, I mean, like, foregoing boundaries and, like, enabling abuse because you hope that something will get better. It's that fucking hopium game, right? There, like, there, there's, there's absolutely no fucking evidence that it's going to get better. In fact, there's quite the opposite. There's, there's clear fucking evidence that it's going to continue to get worse, exceedingly worse, right? And your go-to is to like freeze and shut down and, you know, fawn and everything, right? Oh, it's okay. You didn't mean it. No, <laughs> no. I'm I'm not here to be hard on myself. I'm just here to, you know, see shit for what the fuck it is. Um, I really don't like codependency. I don't. It's a dynamic that um, I wish I never learned. Um, healthy boundaries are fucking awesome. And they're, you know, that defense against a foreign threat, right? projections, displacements, all of these fucking defense mechanisms that people with either permeable boundaries or no boundaries at all whatsoever <clears throat> utilize. Why? Well, because they are emotionally immature, or I should say they are too emotionally immature to look at themselves, to actually sit with themselves, to be <clears throat> emotionally available for themselves and <clears throat> excuse me ate a fucking brownie and it's causing a lot of mucus <laughs> um i had probably one of the most significant releases of i suppose suppressed anger last night and it kind of I, I allowed myself to go into territory that I've never really been in before uh, with the anger and just how I've channeled it and what I've thought and what I've felt. Um, yeah, on some real shit, fuck boundary violations. Uh, fuck people that are communicated to that their behavior is unacceptable and it is hurtful, and it is requested that it's changed. It is requested that it is changed. And they do not a single goddamn motherfucking thing on the face of this goddamn planet to do anything about it. Now, that's also on the person to see that and be like, all right, well, you're clearly not going to fucking change. Fuck this fucking hopium game. Ooh, that rhymed. I like that. You're not going to fucking change. Fuck this fucking hopium game. <laughs> uh, those might be lyrics to a, to a track. That'd be dope. Um, I'm a rapper and a singer, by the way. Um, I have some songs on my channel. Anyway, getting back to it. Um, yeah, when you've spent your entire life repressing, or I should say suppressing your anger. Um, yeah, fuck that. Also, fuck this hopium game of thinking that somebody is going to change while having consistent fucking evidence that not one single motherfucking thing is going to be different, right? Um, and just believing that continuing to fawn, continuing to freeze, continuing to shut down is the fucking answer. Fuck that. Fuck, fuck that all around. Um, fawning, freezing, shutting down, foregoing boundaries, all of that stuff, uh, that is not the answer to a healthier direction in your relationship. That's actually the answer to an unhealthier direction. And 
that shows the person that you are okay with being treated that way. Oh, they're going to change. They don't mean it, this, that, and the other. No. Fuck that permeable boundary bullshit. On some real shit. I've been treated like shit by people. A majority of it has been emotional abuse. Um, or I should say, I, I'm pretty much, I'm pretty sure it's been like all emotional abuse. But I have. And now, the thing that I really have to sit with, that's the most important thing to sit with, because I'm getting the fuck off of this cocaine hopium game. <laughs> Might have to use that word cocaine in the lyrics as well. Um, I've enabled so much of the abuse that I've tolerated throughout my fucking life. Just, like, allowing people to continue to treat me the way that they have. Like, yes, the disrespect is unacceptable. The abuse is unacceptable. When somebody violates your boundaries, it's unacceptable. And I've done my fair share of, you know, um, violating boundaries. When you learn permeable boundaries, you tend to perpetuate the act of violating somebody's boundaries. I'm not proud of that, but I am growing and healing and learning and taking a step back and all that stuff. But to accept responsibility, no matter how fucking challenging it is, to accept responsibility that you have enabled abuse towards you, right? Somebody treats you like shit. You communicate that you dislike it, that it hurts you, and that it's unacceptable and you will not tolerate it, and they fucking do it again. And you just allow it. You are enabling your own abuse. You are enabling somebody to treat you like shit. Right? And so I went fucking deep into this session of releasing anger last night. Like, I went into full fucking darkness. And the reason I did so was because I'm ready to continue going deeper into this journey of mine. And I really want to heal whatever codependency still persists within me. I have no interest in being codependent. I have no interest in doing things that I don't want to do anymore. I have no interest in not communicating my likes and dislikes. I have no interest in just accepting whatever the fuck presents itself to me anymore. I don't. I have no interest in enabling abuse. I have no interest in being treated like shit by people. I don't. I really motherfucking don't. And... I'm genuinely fucking tired of having permeable boundaries, right? And I'm genuinely tired of being scared of deploying healthy boundaries in fear that people will leave or that they'll think this or that about me. I don't, I, I don't care about anything more than my enjoyment of life. Don't get me wrong. I'm not going to go around being a dick to people. I'm not going to go around being a fucking asshole. Kindness is important, but fuck this game of permeable boundaries. Fuck this game of seeing people, seeing other, right? Knowing that they're treating you like a piece of shit, which by the way, if somebody treats you like a piece of shit, meanwhile, you've done not a single motherfucking wrong thing to them, that's just simply them treating you how they feel about themselves. If somebody treats you like shit, they're just treating you how they feel about themselves. That's it. But seriously, fuck being treated like shit. Fuck that. It's disgusting. It's unacceptable. And if somebody consistently does that, even after you've communicated dislike and how much it hurts you, they're not going to fucking change. They only allow people in their life that they can abuse. And if you're not one of them, they're not going to keep you around. That's just the reality of it. So yeah, I went full into this motherfucking anger session. I really did. And I felt everything I fucking needed to. Now, let me end off with this because I think this is really important to understand. If you do not communicate your dislike in regards to hurt that people cause you because they violate your fucking boundaries, you are going to create and enable a very weird fucking dynamic between you and other people. You are. 
because essentially what's happening is you're entering into um you know freeze shut down fawn Oh, I just want this person to like me. Oh, I just want this person to love me. Oh, I just want this person's validation and approval. No. <laughs> You're forgo you are foregoing everything that matters to you to keep some abusive motherfucker in your life. Because, I don't know, it gives you whatever validation you get fucking high off of. Right? It gives a check mark on your fucking worth. Why? What do they have? It's probably all in your mind and it's probably fucking nothing. Right? So, enabling that type of relationship dynamic, I can tell you right now from my own personal experience, it does not. And I really fucking me i i've been through a lot of fucked up shit with people i really have enabling that type of dynamic will never make anything better the only thing that can make anything better is you communicating your boundaries you telling them listen you motherfucker i do not like the way that you treat me if that doesn't change things it's not going to fucking change you fawning and freezing and shutting down and hoping that that will work is fucking hopium. And it goes fucking nowhere other than them realizing that they can just continue to violate your fucking boundaries. That's all there is to this. And it will just further perpetuate the same idea that you deserve to be treated like shit, which you do not. This person is just treating you how they feel about themselves. And if you look at all their other relationships, they're probably all the same. It might not be the same way, but that's just the way that it is, right? So let me just end off with this. I mean this. <laughs> if you actually allow yourself to feel the anger, to process it from all the boundary violations, from all the times that you've been treated like shit, right? You actually allow yourself to feel it and you stop suppressing it you're going to change the way that you approach relationships. You're allowed to get angry. I'm allowed to get angry. Whoever the fuck told you that anger is bad is emotionally immature, and they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. They're also emotionally unavailable, obviously. People that are scared of anger, people that are uncomfortable with anger are emotionally unavailable. There's nothing fucking wrong with anger. Anger is there to tell you, hey, listen, dude, um, this person is violating your fucking boundaries. Punch them in the motherfucking face. Not really. But remove them from your motherfucking life.